Look, wood planks, that means home projects. Wear and tear in your home, it can sometimes feel overwhelming. Kelly, here with some useful everyday home hacks for less is designer and lifestyle expert, Sabrina Soto. Welcome to the show. Sabrina. Thank you for being First here. First of all, I love your trousers. Thank I love you. The whole look is great. I dress for you. Thank you very, <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, so, you too, Ryan. Easy to, thank you, easy tips, and it doesn't cost us too much. Where yes. should we begin? So this is stuff you already have laying around the house. Okay, okay. first, when you're painting, people usually oversaturate their paintbrushes, mm -hmm. and then the paint gets all over. So really good tip trick is to take a few rubber bands or one uh -huh. that's thick enough and put it around your paint can. Okay. And then when you're actually painting, you use that as a ledge so that the paint doesn't drip. So this oh, wow. doesn't happen. I've struggled oh, with that I all my see. life. <laughs> that's crazy. And didn't crazy. realize. So you put it on top. Yeah, just like this and that. That's the greatest thing that's ever been shown to us on the show. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, Thank I have you. more. Okay. okay, wow. Show I okay. that. So usually if you have a piece of wood and you're putting a screw in and out, it strips the wood. So the new screw doesn't have anything to hold on to. Using a wood golf tee into that hole, you basically hammer it into the hole and then you take a, haw, a, a saw and you hack it off. So mm. that creates a new piece of wood for your screw. I'm gonna tell my father-in-law this because he always uses toothpicks. A <laughs> bunch oh, of wood. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Yes. This is much this easier. This is way better. This is a way better plan, Dad. Okay, so this is now, my next one is one of my favorites. You have kids, so you know crayons everywhere. So you could actually draw on the wood floor. That's what yeah. they would do. Mm -hmm. An easy way to remove the skid marks is, wait, I just said skid marks. Skid That's marks. weird. Right? No, we <laughs> understand what you mean. Crayon skid yeah, marks. There you go. Yeah. Is using a tennis ball, and it just wipes right off like magic. Is that true? Yes, do it. You gotta give it some little oh, bit of yeah. elbow grease. And oh, it I have off. tennis elbow. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Another thing. That's yes, really that cool. Easy? Yeah, it comes right Another off on the ball. Another thing you could use tennis balls for is wrap them in aluminum foil and throw them in your dryer. It fluffs up the laundry and it makes your drying time a lot faster. Wow. They sell those like fancy schmancy dryer yes, balls, those but you don't dryer have to. Yeah, but you don't have to. This is like a fraction of the cost. You just wrap it in aluminum yeah, foil. Yeah, we're gonna come mess up your floors because you have a lot of these lying around your Look place. And it, we are now fancy <laughs> schmancy. <laughs> okay, and then lastly for this. We have the pilling of fabric. This happens all the time on like throw blankets and pillows. Yes. Um, and it just makes it look really old. This happens on your clothes too. Yes. So you just take a razor and you just shave off the fabric. By the way, the more expensive the sweater, the more likely it is to yes. fall apart after the cashmere. one wear. Yes. So look, if you just you shave it, you shave it off and all of that excess <laughs> fabric just comes off and it leaves it nice and smooth. <laughs> All right, Isn't well, that easy? Kelly shaves her towel there. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with more right after this. Stick around. Okay, a little Tiesto. Get down to business. By the way, I really like Sabrina Soto mm. and all of her home tips. And she's still here with more. Yeah. So often on Mondays, Kelly comes in and says, I got all the wax out of the carpet. And I oh. say, how did you do it? So how did she do it? You said you, you have this trick. You know this yes, trick. Yes, this yeah. is a great trick. So how do you do this? Okay, Use well, the two, hot iron. we have a few carpet tricks. So first, okay. when oh, you rearrange furniture, all right, so it's yeah. like this really big dent usually. So what yes. you do is you piece, take a piece of ice and you put it on the dent overnight. And when you wake up, you just fluff the fibers with a fork. You fork your watch fibers. You, watch you out. Fork right. your fibers. All you got to do is fork your fibers. And Sometimes comes. I'll come home because Ryan and I, a lot of people don't know, off the set also share an apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll come home and Ryan's just forking his fibers all over the place. Yeah. And I'm like, please hey, stop. It, Kelly. <laughs> please stop forking the fibers. <laughs> I'm never going to get invited back over here. Uh, no, you're you're coming back great. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, carpet. When you get candle wax on your carpet. Yes. After or the rain. Any sort mm -hmm. of fibers. What you do is you take a few layers of paper towel, wait till the candle wax dries, and then you put your iron right on top of it. Make sure the set the steam setting's not on. And what it does, the heat will make the candle wax soak into the paper towels. Mm -hmm. And then you're done. So it's like that wild weekend never happened. Yeah, it's like it and never happened. Remember the rave with that, all the candles? And, and, <laughs> and that's how they keep coming back the next Friday. Even Got those it. candles with the special oils. <laughs> okay, next, another way to clean your the plate of your iron Ice is cold. to use toothpaste. You know like yes. that grime that gets on your iron and then sometimes it like mm -hmm. stains your clothes? Toothpaste. Yes. Okay. You could clean it with toothpaste, but not the gel toothpaste, so like the old-fashioned white like, paste. Just white yes. toothpaste. Yes. It's like it has abrasions in it that'll clear the plate. I, but, I Just, hate when I don't realize it's there. I know, I've ruined a lot Ugh. of clothes that way. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Okay. You don't have to throw Let's, ice at me. I didn't let, do that. Let's not get into a fight, you two. 
<laughs> What's next? Okay, lastly, you know when you buy like glasses or anything, like candles, those stickers are in the bottom of it. It's yes. so oh, yeah. tricky it's so to get off. A really easy trick is to use either baby oil or mineral oil. Leave it there for a few minutes and then it should just wipe right off. My mom actually uses peanut butter and it really works too. It's just a little bit peanut messy. Peanut butter gets gum out of your hair. Yeah, yes, it you does. Know, peanut butter does a lot of stuff. When your co-host puts gum in your hair behind your back. See, it just it comes right off. I use almond butter. <laughs> um, these are great tips. Thank you so much for coming. Great Thank to see you. you here. Look out for Sabrina's new show, Secret Celebrity Renovation, premieres July 9th. That's on CBS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll be right back on live. Yeah, I will.